uh, an amazing piece. Very emotional. By Andrea Kramer. Oh. And it brings, it brings you right back. I think we all have our own recollections of, of that. I was actually with the Giants doing Monday Night Football as a sideline reporter that night, uh, September 10th, and, and obviously didn't make it back the next day because they'd shut everything down. But our, our next game when we finally resumed football, the community feeling and the feeling of patriotism and standing together was like nothing I'd ever felt. And, and football did that. Football did that. And you recognize, for me, when I look back on it, is that the same way we all, your first instant, we got to play. Back to practice, not knowing if we were going to play the game or not. And I was, we're going to play. By God, we're... And then I got around my players. I'm interested in your perspective, Sean, because once I got around my players and I looked in their eyes, I realized... I don't know that we can play this game. This, this, as much as we... Yeah, I was playing for the Cleveland Browns when it happened, and it was an off day, and, and, and I had just moved into my new apartment. I didn't, and the dogs that were out there, I mean, they, there was so much emotion going up to it. And I remember we practiced on Wednesday. We practiced mm -hmm. Thursday. We still didn't know if we were going to play. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until after we practiced on Thursday, I think, that Butch Davis told us, hey, the game is off, and played the Detroit Lions the next week. And I've never come together, and the patriotism, and the, the real feeling of... We're all in this together. And, and, and it always has special meaning, but especially today, and it'll be broadcast live uh, on all the television broadcasts. So here we are 15 years later, and the emotions uh, still raw. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Game Day First. We are so glad that you're waking up with us this morning. We couldn't be more excited about up. this weekend being finally here. The gang's together again. Sean's, Sean's in always in his stance. We're ready. I'm about stance. to rip his pants. Yeah. It's all good. We got, <laughs> we, got, we got our new couch. We got a new this? couch, yeah. And football is back. So I am Melissa Stark, and I have my three Super Bowl champions who I'm going to be waking up with for the next five months, basically, with uh, on Sunday it. mornings. Let's Looking forward it. to that. My, my coach, Brian Billick. We, it seems like we were just here. Like we <laughs> yeah. just did this, didn't we? Yeah. Never left. But we have this new comfy couch. Mike Rob. I know. I want to lay down. Looking I just want to grandfather that middle one. You got your hands full with those four here. and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You have, five, you have five kids. Well, I'm glad everybody had great summers, and, and it's yes. it's time to be back. We are we are so excited about today. And uh, as for today's top stories, we of course celebrate the return of football, but we must also take pause as a nation to reflect on the greater significance of this Sunday. Ceremonies so that there are a lot of things that you're looking for today, and it's hard to pick one. But if you had to, Coach? Yeah, you know, I'll go with the low-hanging. Week one, it's always an issue. There's going to be big plays because guys aren't used to the full tackle. And of, of these players, you saw it in the preseason that we have shorter off-seasons. You can't be in the building as much. Mm -hmm. so that people are going to say, why, why is this happening? Takes a, takes a couple weeks maybe to, to get up to speed. We're just happy. <laughs> we are just happy that football is back. We're ready to go. And 